When I first met him, I was very intimidated. You know, Liam Neeson, he's a massive, you know, big actor. But as soon as he started talking to me, I realized that he was just a really nice guy and, and he made me feel really comfortable. Me and Connor are quite different, but we do have many similarities. Like we've both uh, lost our mothers, although my situation was different to his in many ways. Although, you know, it, it, it gave, it helped me empathize with what he's going through. And so that really helped me. A Monster Calls is really about Connor and his growing up and coming of age. You know, he's forced to grow up so much faster than any teen should do, you know, because of, because of what he's going through, his mother's cancer and, and things at school and everything, you know. And he learns to deal with it and grow up through what this monster is telling him, these tales, because these tales all, all contain life lessons. He is a great guy and, and, it, and it was a pleasure to work with him, you know. Quite often he would, well, during the three weeks of rehearsal, you know, we really got down to what Connor was feeling because throughout the, the film, Connor experiences like a range, like a massive range of different emotions and, and he really helped me, you know, understand what they really were. Felicity, she, she's a, a really nice person and she did teach me uh, quite a few things actually. You know, I could, I could just see by the way she interacted with everybody, you know, that's just like a lesson of how to, how to be, to be, to be a nice guy, to, to not be like rude to people, you know, to, to really be nice to everybody. And she also uh, taught me that I don't have to get it perfect first time, that I can just try things again. And, and you know, she, she was really nice. Sigourney, who plays my grandmother, well, she was uh, she was tremendously nice to me, just like just like everybody was, you know. She actually took me out for dinner one night. Uh, we went out to uh, Bar we went out in Barcelona, you know, me, and my dad, and uh, Sigourney's friend, and and it was and it was great fun. We just had a, a nice chat, and it really helped me get to know her. For a lot of people, art can be like an escape, you know you know, into your own little world, just you and like the bit of paper. And I believe that's what it is for Connor and also his mother. Everybody will come and see the film with their own experiences, you know, whether they've lost somebody or something else. But I hope that this film really teaches them lessons on how to cope with that or prepare them to cope with something like that. The monster is just like fantastical um, creature that uh, it transforms from a yew tree into this massive, like, um, man-like figure, you know, with branches coming out of its back and red, fiery eyes, you know, and its voice is just amazing. Liam Neeson does a fantastic job at, at the voice, you know, it, it's really powerful. To make it all more realistic, me and Felicity uh, did, had, like, a few, like, time bonding sessions almost, like we actually went out to the zoo one day, just me and her, and you know, that was a really great experience to, for me to get to know her and, you know, to sort of portray the close relationship that a mother and son do have. The monster tells Connor these three stories, and at the beginning, it seems like, it seems like your average, like, fairy tale story, but they end completely differently to what you may expect, and that just shows that sometimes, you know, stories, you know, they don't always have a fairy tale ending and and that is life, you know. Life doesn't always have a fairy tale ending and that's the lesson that the monster teaches Connor. He teaches that and, and how to deal with that. Did you know that Dwayne Johnson was Tim Burton's second choice for the role of Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which went to Johnny Depp? Do they seriously look alike according to Burton? Who do you prefer as an actor, Depp or The Rock? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to click here for more videos. Thanks for watching.